All right, this is the story for Half-Life 1, baby. So first we open at the Black Mesa <laughs> Research Facility in New Mexico. Gordon Freeman rides on a train for like 25 minutes. It's so long. Oh my God. It's such a long intro. So he's in the Black Mesa Research Facility and he sees all these scientists. How do you do, Mr. Freeman? You know, like they all have the exact same voice. I'm with the science team. And then Freeman is is like, he's basically like the lab rat. He's like, all right, Freeman, we're going to have you go into this giant portal thing and, and push this crystal into it and see what it does. And then Freeman's like silent, but I bet in his head he's like, okay. He puts on his HEV suit and then he goes up in there and then guess what happens? It blows up in a portal spawn. Somehow that didn't Who work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then it blows up everything. <laughs> then a bunch of aliens from a different universe called Zen launches in and begins killing all the scientists. Well, all the scientists that Josh didn't kill. In, yeah, Josh killed a lot of guys. <laughs> Josh killed so many scientists. And then the government hears and they're like, oh no, let's get the Marines in and, and, and kill everybody so that this doesn't you know, come out. And then the super government is like, hold on, we got to cover up the Marines. All right, get the black operations <laughs> agents out there. And then I, I, I don't know who's going to cover yeah. them up. <laughs> the even blacker operations <laughs> yeah, agents. The even blacker <laughs> operations agents. Um, then he has to get to the Lambda complex in order to put an end to the alien invasion somehow. I don't know. I don't know how that'll work. Then uh, Freeman makes it to the Lambda complex where like the super scientists are. And they're like, oh, Freeman, we're going to teleport you to Zen and you're going to have to close the portal from that side. And then, and then and Freeman... Freeman's like, why me? <laughs> yeah, for real. Why? <laughs> you're the only one cool enough to, to withstand the lasers. Look on the other side. Look at all the dead scientists on the other side. They were too nerdy enough. They didn't stand. They didn't stand a yeah, chance. He gets into, he goes to Zen. All the t scientists are all freaking dead around him. He's like, you, gross. Then, then, then after all these aliens, after slaughtering an entire universe's natural species, Gordon. Dude, he did do that. Actually. You're right. He <laughs> did. Gordon makes it to Neolon, the big baby-looking person who's the supreme leader of Zen, who's just trying to protect his home. And then, and then Freeman uproots and kills him, thereby closing the portal. But then he's confronted by a G-Man, a mysterious interdimensional agent who disarms and restrains him. Mr. Freeman, I, 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 I would like to offer you a, 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 an employment. Will Freeman accept the offer or deny it? I don't know. Also, Josh goes insane here and makes up a Phineas and Ferb story on the spot for like 45 minutes straight. So I'll put timestamps for one that begins and ends in case you want to watch it or not. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Josh, get assume your gamer position. <laughs> I remember there was one time I Go was ahead, at Tom. opera camp. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot they just made a, the opera camp. They made us sing. They were like, okay, so let's do a warm up. And they made like each person go through like the alphabet, but like he like sang in like t like some warm up or whatever. Uh -huh. And so like I just start going through the alphabet, and then people start laughing. I was like, wait, what's funny? And they're like, you messed up the alphabet. <laughs> and I was like, what? What are you talking about? They're like, you forgot G. And I was like. <laughs> What are you talking about? I was like, oh, okay, cool. A, B, C, D, E, F, J. You forgot A, B, C, D, E, F, H, oh, wait, I, sorry, J. Sorry, I'm supposed to not know the alphabet. B, D, C, D, C, D, C, D, C, 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 in the exact Josh same has an order. alpha butt. <laughs> He's it's true. Like, I am the alpha butt. Anyways, you think about it. Josh English has, has the button. alphabet go in the exact same order every single time. What? We always say A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V X Y Z. Do you really have to say the whole alphabet for that? Yes. Okay. So I could prove my prowess that I do remember the alphabet. Josh, you forgot G again. Sorry. I'm just edit out G. It's just a huge obvious cut. You play two seconds of darkness with this audio over. Spoink Bob. Yeah. Ah, here he is. They have the French colors on the wall. You see. TPS reports have gotten. They have the same voice. Hard to find. It's his son. Really? I I don't know. Hey, Dad. Oh. Yeah. Ramblers. Naked fries. You know, I sure hope this room doesn't explode. It doesn't explode. Everything wink. Seems to be in order. Well, I don't have to be The audience knows that I wink because I said wink. That's not a tip. I'm winking! I'm gonna destroy this. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, Wait, guys, I dropped my stool! Uh, when my cousin Liv told me when she was babysitting me and Luke when we were kids, like really little, I was like four, he was like two or something. Oh, she said that when I was I was do trying to be funny, 
And so what I would do is I would just pull my pants down and go, uh oh. Yeah. And then I would like pull them back up. So I'll just go, uh oh, yeah. uh oh. And Luke wanted to like copy me because he thought it was really funny. He was laughing, but he couldn't figure out how to pull his pants down. And he kept pulling them up. <laughs> <laughs> he kept pulling his pants up, and he was making a pouty uh. face. He was just like. Fuck, and he just started crying because he didn't know how to pull his pants out. He just kept pulling him up. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, my. oh, did you see me jump over that? That's, that's, those are strats right there. Kill him. He's no use to us anymore. No, don't kill the scientist. Aw. I'm with the science team. Oh, okay. Just break open every crate, I guess. Not that one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he just did it again. <laughs> Move! That's incredible. Oh, head crab! Head crab! <laughs> Jesse! Jesse! Oh. It's inching forward! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Kill it! Oh. What do you shoot with it? A grenade launcher? You shoot? swapped the weapon, Josh! I didn't touch it wasn't even on the controller. Get out! Get out! I swapped it. Get out! You just scrolled on the wheel! Why are the soldiers <laughs> killing me? I killed me? 12. <laughs> Why are the soldiers Gosh, killing Gosh, I anybody? think you might have needed him to stink and get out. Nah. Why do you guys kill the scientists? I have only killed one scientist and then went back immediately. Josh has killed every other one. <laughs> Why are you so mean to the scientists? Because the they're science part of the science the team. Scientists and they haven't... knew that about the aliens. Gordon Freeman was the only person who didn't know. Okay, but if you think about it, they tested me against my will and then they blew didn't. up a Why reactor you in front of me. you for that job? Yeah, you against my, my will? <laughs> they forced me to apply for it. What are you talking about? They forced you to apply for the job. Yes, it's called uh, illegal submission. Jesse, how old's Joshua now? My brother? Yeah. I don't know, like nine. Wow, they grew up so fast. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> was he born when you guys moved down here? He was born three days after we moved. Really? Yeah. That's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. And he funny. had it in the. <laughs> Thanks for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the docs, Josh. Oh, uh, sorry. What's the docs? They had it in the Alabama hospital. <laughs> well, we did have. We well, did have it in the Alabama hospital, <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> was that supposed to be spitting into a spittoon? Yeah. yeah. All the weapons do no damage. That is not true. It is true. Jesse, would you rather use a shotgun or the hunting? What is it called? Hunter rifle. Ooh, hunting rifle. That is a good comparison. But the shotgun is still better. It seems this door isn't open. Use the crowbar. It was crowbar. opening. It literally opened like three times. No, you just, it you just kept closing it back. No, it just closed. It's broken. Look. Just click it one time. See? <laughs> you keep closing it. <laughs> Grab the wheel! You can't wait one second. Oh, you're on two health? Is there any health in here, Josh? No, keep yourself locked in, dude! You're dead. Why? <laughs> well, I was picking up the wheel of priority. Yeah, why well, was picking up the wheel of priority? Why no. wasn't opening the door a priority? <laughs> I opened the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Dad. That's the problem. Why don't you kill them all before you run run in there? Oh my goodness. And you run the thing again. You even saw oh, it. Oh, he's scared. <laughs> this guy is scaring me. I didn't know he was in here. I didn't see him. You saw it and you still walked forward into it. Holy crap, dude. This door is broken. It killed me! The door <laughs> That's what killed happens when you get crushed by a sliding door, Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it doesn't have a motion sensor. You're right, it doesn't have a motion sensor. What That's is why it? it has a lock. What year is this, huh? It's what? 21. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it again! Oh my goodness. <laughs> when, did, when did this get here? <laughs> when did this thing get here? I know this area like the back of my oh head. Oh my goodness. When did that get there? <laughs> How have you, third, third time's the charm? How have you survived 19 years? <laughs> what, give me the He's wheel. not even 19, what are you talking He's about? He's 20. Oh my. Josh, oh my. Joshua <laughs> 20. <At <laughs> hey look, health. Josh, don't pick it up. Oh Kill the God. head crab, please. Oh my goodness, that scared me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, Josh. Oh! <laughs> Open that one. <laughs> it fell through the crack and I was like, oh, thank goodness. And then you just jumped down. Alright, now leave. You want to punch, Jesse? No. 
SPS. It's almost no, like made of you, Jesse. No. <laughs> almost like my idea worked. Yeah, it did. Why? It did, Why? And who had the mechanics to do it? Me. Don't pull That's that it. up. Ah! <laughs> We're waiting for what? Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! I will. Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> By the Who's Russian dropping me on a bomb. My cell phone? Me. Nine one one. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Kevin. I don't have the pleasure of speaking to. Hey, Kevin. This is Chip Anthony. Anthony? Did, did I hear that correct? Is it's that the it's first name? no Chip is the first name. Anthony's the last name. This <laughs> 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 is the third time. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ryan. Uh, this is Chip Anthony. How you doing? <laughs> I knew it! Dude, last time I said I, my name was Chip Anthony, they hung up too! <laughs> hey, Giselle, this is Luke Anthony. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was for? A $999 credit on an on a expensive getaway. <laughs> what?! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even. <laughs> he thought it was Anthony was yeah, the first yeah. name. Yeah, and I was like, no, it's Chip. Chip Anthony. And then he hung up, <laughs> dude. What actually? Chip is a real name. I don't understand. Ah! Why do you keep doing that? Oh my god! They literally spawned. Shock on it! Shock no, on I it! I like how it's wearing like tomatoes. Good thing that took all my help. You know, I hear uh, blue light heals. <laughs> <laughs> So I use water. Oh! Oh my God! I'll take this with. Ooh, dude! Imagine <laughs> making steak out of this. Off. That would be perfect for eating <laughs> as a steak. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a piece of fuckable meat. Alright, Josh is asleep. Creating nanobots or locating Frank Guys, let's, let's Frank. Let's write, let's write good an episode a whole lot of Phineas stuff. and Ferb. Okay, I'll start. Hey, where's Perry? What's their, Ferb, what's their I know what we're gonna Nancy. Candace. Candace. <laughs> Alright, so Candace is you know, going on a name. friend date with her, uh, Jeremy? Her friend. The Jeremy. black girl. No, there's, there's no not black a black girl. girl. I said the girl with black hair. <laughs> oh. Stacy. Yeah, she's going on a friend date with Stacy to the mall. But then she <laughs> sees that Phineas accurate. and Ferb are up to no good. So uh -huh. she decides that while she's at the mall, that she's going to go all the way back to the house and try and get her mom to mom, see what crazy mom. invention Phineas and Ferb are creating. And bust them. So Phineas, the pointy, sticky, spiky one, <laughs> says, uh, he goes and he goes, Phineas Ferb, I've created the Jumbotron. This allows us. <laughs> <laughs> I created the Jumbotron. You know, this is a good episode of Phineas and Ferb. I created the Jumbotron. What's going to allow us is we're going to be able to summon uh, meatballs from the sky using the Jumbotron. Now, all it needs is a thousand human souls from the underworld to power it. Uh, hey, it's me, Perry the Platypus. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Ah, Perry the Platypus! No, 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 Ah, we're in the planet for us. I there see you. Go. I'm creating the meatball in nature. <laughs> it's going to take meatballs that run, uh, fall from the sky. So, anyways, this meatball in nature will uh, be powered from a thousand human souls from the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it will go and uh, take the meatballs into this giant <laughs> big cannon at the top of my tower. The and dude shoot his down. balls reascend. Why is his voice so on now? And, and out. And they'll go in. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> And uh, they'll go in and uh, shoot meatballs at everyone, and the entire city will be blown up. Cut to Ferb. <laughs> <laughs> cut to Ferb. Oh, Ferb, no. it's me, Vanessa, hot babe. The cut to True. 18 minutes of Vanessa doing extremely awesome stuff. <laughs> like uh, the, the building a bike. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> building the a bike? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome stuff for you, <laughs> building a bike. <laughs> yes. Anyways, hop back to uh, Dr. Perry the Platypus. Hey, it's me, Perry the Platypus. Uh, I'm gonna chug the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, chugs the entire Perry ocean. Perry the Platypus, you drank Perry the entire the ocean? <laughs> I, I thought I was.
was the villain. And then, yeah. <laughs> And then the entire world goes into drought and uh, everything dies, you know, and the, and the sharks and the whales start flopping onto the land. And then what happens is that uh, the thousand human souls from the underworld ooh, and like something and everybody thinks the apocalypse is happening. And, oh, this is a special. Okay, and then not that the apocalypse is happening, the thousand human souls from the underworld uh, combine because both Dr. Doofenshmirtz and Phineas uh, collected them at the same time time and uh the same thousand from the souls. same yeah from the same dude the same dude. yeah from the same dude and <gasps> the uh, he didn't realize that souls. he didn't realize that he didn't have a surplus of human souls um and so they they uh had to choose which uh, one they did so now dr doofenshmirtz and phineas have to come up with a uh ad marketing plan oh, for shit. the oh, human shit. souls to join their side you know you're supposed right, to look Josh, directly into this, a nuclear blast right how does this phineas and Ferb episode wrap up all right so they have a dance number by vanessa on a uh stripper pole or something and then the human mm -hmm, souls mm -hmm, are like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh my goodness we gotta join she's 16 we gotta join she's 16 and then uh the demon from the underworld is like i've aged up vanessa be 18 no. years old oh no. thank goodness and then uh I'm and then she's like standards. excuse me did you think i would let that happen and then uh and then what happens is all the demons are like, oh, no, all right, no, no. let's split 50-50. And then they both create their machines that rain meatballs from the sky. But uh, actually, Phineas messed it up, and it started raining um, It started it raining uh, tomato sauce. <laughs> all right, whatever. So the meatballs start falling from the sky from Dr. Doofenshmirtz's thing, and the lava, uh, not the lava, the... <laughs> the um, oh, Jesse, there's a way you can go try the map. The tomato here. sauce Four. starts going... Into oh, never mind, they patched it up. the tomato sauce goes uh, and what? fills up the what oceans that Perry the Platypus just chugged. And you know, <laughs> he chugged the ocean so that the world wouldn't flood by tomato sauce. All right, so now that the oceans are completely replaced by tomato knew. sauce, the <laughs> the whales and sharks start drinking up all of it. So the water levels go all the way back up and fill like uh, and from their basically piss. all of Australia goes underwater. But then <laughs> the sharks start. Where did that come the from? sharks drink all, <laughs> all of, of Australia. The, <laughs> the sharks drink. Because uh, you know, water flows to the lowest point. It's exactly. Australia is on the bottom of the earth. <laughs> exactly. So basically, nice. uh, the tomato nice. sauce goes back down to normal level, and all of Australia is drenched in tomato sauce. <laughs> but luckily for Australia, the the water flows up there, and uh, gravity is reversed. So basically, all the tomato sauce falls back out into space. All right, now, now that the rest of the world's sea levels are perfectly fine, world hunger is solved oh because everybody oh can just my. eat meatballs. And all the deserts are filled up with uh, tomato sauce, and it nourishes the earth because tomato Tomatoes are actually a plant and a fruit, <laughs> and uh, it, they're it, a plant and a fruit. Anyways, it grows, it grows tomatoes almost everywhere, and you're like, what are we gonna do with? I can't move. What are we gonna do with all these oh, tomatoes? Oh, oh shit! And then luckily, Perry the platypus actually uh, eats all the tomatoes. No, no, no. This is what he does. So what happened was, since a thousand human souls from the underworld. Uh, uh, split exists. and messed up and the guy got his uh his backlogs wrong he was like oh uh, i got uh oh i got a God, like all uh 18 please. million hungry souls that they need some tomatoes let me out or whatever so now now that there's <laughs> tomato now that it's tomato plants everywhere uh, it basically is just able to send tomatoes down to the underworld and feed them for like <laughs> the rest of eternity. So basically, there's uh 18 portals around the world that <laughs> there's 18 portals around the world that are basically feeding Please. tomatoes to the rest of the souls. Please. And you're wondering how they eat eat them? Well, they Wait, get converted. Lord. From uh, they get converted from tomatoes in real life matter to spirit energy to, for the <laughs> souls to consume. Now that takes a lot of uh, prowess. Oh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now that takes a lot of energy. Now where do they get that energy from? Well, you see, well, this, this is, is what happens with the tomato sauce. Now the tomato <laughs> sauce that fell out into space was Wait, actually. Is this, Josh, be honest with me. Is this, is this a One Piece story? No, like I'm you... literally. <laughs> I'm literally making this up as I go. Is that a One Piece you. story? <laughs> Continue, Josh, please. Anyways, so the tomatoes that fell out in space uh, landed on the moon. Now, what happens is there's, <laughs> there's a bunch of robots on the moon, and uh, they start, like, shoveling what? it up. Where the robots come from? The robots were left by an ancient civilization <laughs> on the, uh, that came from the moon. So, um... 
Anyways, the robots on the moon, they're like, hey, uh, we just got all this tomato sauce. And they wait, t- wait. So what's the status of the ocean again? Is it water or tomato oh, sauce? Oh, it's tomato sauce right now. <laughs> but it, it was at a high enough level that Australia went underwater. Or basically <laughs> under tomato else. sauce. But everything, <laughs> now the sea sauce. levels are back down. And the ice caps, oh, what happened to them was that the, uh, the ice caps, caps were basically... <laughs> they're they're covered in tomatoes now. <laughs> so then this was this happened around 1863 when the Titanic was about to sink. But as the tomato sauce, it basically was able this to. This is a really good head uh, chemi- Do- chemically Jesse, alter. Honestly, this is pretty funny. Yeah, uh, so able to chemically alter the uh, the substance of the ice and basically make it uh, so the tomato, the tomato sauce froze along and made like this huge red ice. Uh, Every ice time thing. Josh just says tomato sauce. I just <laughs> And it made this huge oh, blot the- of uh, um, red ice. A tomato okay, so, bird. So what happened was that uh, the Titanic was like, oh, shoot, the oceans are made out of tomato sauce and this huge ice <laughs> Wait, thing. so Phineas and Ferb takes place in 1863? Oh, no, Confirmed. this was just when a time portal happened, and oh. it opened back to uh, the Titanic, which I was almost sinking. So, now that the Titanic didn't sink, um, boat <laughs> regulations and laws uh, basically have, like, stopped existing because nothing bad happened to the boats. So, what happened was that uh, the Titanic actually went through a portal into the future, <laughs> or whatever, and it disappeared forever. Now, that actually didn't change any history, and that doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, back <laughs> to the <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was an interesting, t- yeah, an interesting fact. An interesting you already mentioned something, something that... that now that the, um, the soul, uh, billions of souls from the underworld are being fed tomato sauce, oh. uh, they're, he's a, he was like, okay, I'm gonna give you guys back your uh, souls. Ever since all they were only being powered by 500 human souls instead of a thousand. Oh, there was whatever. So he was like, All right, I'll give you 2,000 each. Or whatever. So now both of them will have 2,500 souls. All right, so what happens <laughs> what? is that oh. they flood into the machines, and what happens is um, uh, the meatballs become huge like literally australia size <laughs> and uh they're they're it's, it was like a meteor and they start they start spawning from uh, outer space all right because he, he can't like just like drop them in sure, you know he has he to airdrop yeah. them well, so the, that, he airdrops the meatballs uh from jupiter and that you just see you can like take well, a telescope look to jupiter here. and the meatballs just start launching <laughs> You start, you can see them. They're like literally on fire, but they're uncooked, so it's basically cooking them as they go. But anyways, they're they're as they're going through orbit, the meatballs start curving around Mars, and as they Mars, they're getting shot out or whatever. And then we're like, or whatever. We don't have the the meatballs aren't coming because Mars is curving them around and shooting them towards the Andromeda galaxy. Now what happens what? is that. Uh, the aliens in a, the Andromeda galaxy started receiving huge ass meatballs, <laughs> almost planet sized, or whatever, because they, were they expanded. Sized. Okay, but oh. the meat, the meat, since it wasn't cooked, it was expanded <laughs> as it got cooked. So it was basically it was cooking all the way. It took about 18 light years to get there. It cooks <laughs> and it lands you know. at half the planet. It destroys them. Now, thankfully, they had 18,000 satellites because their planet was almost destroyed due to global warming. Um, and the and the planet just there. gets imploded by this giant meatball, five of them actually, because <laughs> there are five meatballs being sent out. So uh, the meatballs, and then the aliens are like, "All right, we gotta find out who did this." So the aliens send out their. Was it the meep alien? No. Oh. The meep alien. What is it? What is that's it? that's the alien in Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, it's the meep alien. <laughs> anyway, so the meep alien. Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yes, it's the meep alien. I they thought said, you said, "Is it not the meep alien?" <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the meep aliens they send out a giant spaceship that's about uh, planet size. But anyways, they send the uh, the ship over to the uh, Milky Way galaxy. How are you supposed to? Uh, so it take it will take them about another month to get there. So anyways, as these meatballs aren't coming, but it took the meatballs sixteen light years to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, they're coming from Jupiter, so it's gonna t- it's like a eight month uh, passage period. But okay, but you're seeing that the meatballs are curving around uh, Mars, and they're not able to actually come to Earth. So. Uh, obviously, they're trying to alter the machine so that it's able to spawn straight from Mars and go straight to Earth. Or whatever. But obviously, they don't want the meatballs to be so big that would destroy the planet. So, they uh, <laughs> obviously. what they do is they go and offer the entire planet of Sri, uh, 
island of Sri Lanka uh, down to the underworld. And you're like, why, why would that be uh, needed? Well, basically, uh, it goes and it creates a portal in Sri Lanka that sends uh, little tiny meatballs oh, so they can be, so they can solve the world of uh, world hunger. I thought they already did solve World Hunger with the tomato sauce. Well, yeah, but World Hunger was solved for like five minutes with uh, all the meatballs and tomato sauces. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> but now that now that the uh, tomato sauce is going and uh, joining the ice caps, it's basically raising the water level again, which is gonna cause a uh, mass extinction. And then um, what happens is that. Uh, Candace is as <laughs> she went back to Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Candace, Candace finally makes it home to her mom. I thought this was always Phineas and Ferb. It was pretty, it's always Phineas and Ferb. Anyways, she makes it finally back to her mom. Mom, mom, the, the boys are doing something crazy. And then you <laughs> can't even, you can't even explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Josh I, is pretty explicit. Mom, have you seen the news? The, the, the entire oceans are filled with tomato sauce. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, I've been drinking some recently. <laughs> like, like, she dons like an entire bottle. Dons. You know, I, I use this opportunity to start my entrepreneur business. And she just has like these bottles of tomato sauce. And she'd be like, oh my dude, fucking don't God. You, don't you understand supply and demand, Mom? There's tomato sauce everywhere. <laughs> can't this, you can't make a business out of this. Here, let me help you. And then she goes and creates a whole business model where she's able to basically market the tomato tomato sauce to be premium mark uh tomato sauce so that so then uh her mom makes millions of dollars but then candace forgets that she has to tell her mom what crazy stuff phineas and ferb are doing so she goes back after two months where her mom is super rich her mom is busy every minute of her mom's life is planned out for her entrepreneur schedule she's a multi trillionaire right now <laughs> she's making tomato sauce yeah for tomato sauce she, she has a stranglehold in the world's tomato sauce but, market and she's also uh now there's no more water uh what her mom has done is she had 18 million oil spills around the world so she can control the world supply of tomato sure. sauce which is gonna actually destroy the world's infrastructure and also kill half the population because the the <laughs> they can't the sea life can't drink the tomato sauce anymore because of the <laughs> oil contamination so she says I have a bright idea. I'm gonna blame it all on the people and tell them to, st to reduce their carbon footprint and stop <laughs> uh, destroying the earth. This is basically the world both. And then basically, water. what happens is uh, she says, "Mom, stop out of it!" And she's like, "No, I have to get back to work, honey. Leave me. Uh, I have the next minute, a uh, minute uh, schedule planned, or uh, uh, I have a meeting in one minute." And she's like, no, no, Mom, Phineas and Ferb are blowing up the earth, and there's going to be a meatball and a tomato sauce <laughs> extinction. And then she says, oh, my goodness, that's terrible, Candace. These nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, Candace, that's terrible. I need to go check out what's happening. So she goes over to Phineas and Ferb's lab, yeah. where basically uh, oh Phineas <laughs> is able to... Uh, Phineas is finally able to perfect the 3,000 soul meatballinator and the Jumbotron. Oh, I, I thought it was only 2,500 souls. <laughs> well, he got an extra 500. <laughs> he asked for some. Anyways, he got a, he got a 300. <gasps> I finally perfected the Jumbotron. And then Ferb was like... And so basically, what happened was that uh, Prey the Platypus, all this time, while he uh, c caused the... Uh, all the tomato sauce, he decided, uh, if I did it once, I can do it again. And he chugs all the tomato <laughs> sauce, causing everything, all life to die, and all the tomatoes, um, their, their source of life, aka the tomato sauce, they're cannibals, by the way. If it all stops, and the production going to the underworld to feed all the souls is gone. So then... Uh, the the demon guy comes back. He's like, "Yo, uh, what happened? I thought we had a deal where they were gonna be fed." And then, what happens is that uh, Doctor Doofenshmirtz finally gets his meatballs to become the perfect size so that he can launch them at <laughs> what's their city's name? Dansville. Danville. At Dansville. No, not Dan. Just Danville. No S. Danville. I can't believe how long this has been going. At Danville. And uh. <clears throat> And then, then finally, the meatballs curve around, shoot straight from Mars, and they're going straight to Earth, to Danville. Then what happens is that uh, 
since uh Perry drank all the oceans worth of tomato of tomato sauce he he has it all stored in his stomach he then uh, go, blows up to balloon proportion huge he size inflates? And he inflates inflation roll 35 uh, and then he <laughs> inflates and shoots the tomato sauce as a projectile out to space. He stops the meatballs from coming and colliding <laughs> with Danville and the rest of the Earth that would uh, officially destroy it, like 18,000 asteroids hitting and destroying the Earth. And after that, there's literally no water. And then <laughs> Candace is... Wait, she's wait, Fair the Platypus didn't spit back up the water. He just kept it drank. Yeah, he drank all of it. It went bed, to his bro. bloodstream. <laughs> the water yeah. went to his bloodstream. <laughs> what do you expect? Anyways, he, dri he finally uh, he spits back out all the tomato sauce into space. And it gets lost. Or whatever. So, <clears throat> it gets lost. And you have no idea where it's going. The water... Where, what are you gonna do about the water? Now, Candace is walking with her mom, and they're taking. It's gonna be 15 minutes before they get there. Phineas and Ferb are panicking because all the tomato sauce uh, is gone, and the uh, they have nothing to replace it with since they spent all their human souls just to create this. And the guy is mad because all their tomato supply is gone. So he cut oh, off oh, their oh, deal, oh, 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 and they're not gonna get any more human souls. Phineas and Fer uh, Ferb, we have to figure this out and <laughs> oh. maneuver. Um, I think I know where this is going. We have to find a way to complete this uh, and fix the um, the tomato sauce in Nader. The tomato sauce. <laughs> the jumbo trot, I mean. <clears throat> now, what's happening is that uh, the Meep aliens are finally here after their eight month trip through hyperspace. Oh, I'm dead. Or and they finally made it from the Andromeda Galaxy. They're invading Earth. Hello, humans. You drop fucking eight meatballs a planet size eight meat planet sized meatballs on our planet. And now we're gonna eight meat sized planet balls. <laughs> and now we're gonna kill you. And they say, What? What are you saying? We can't understand you. And they're like, Oh, hold on. And they get the translator out. The mustache. The mustache. Yeah, and it it uh it translates into the Swahili. whatever no it translates into whatever language they speak this. in Sri Lanka and since the entire island of Sri Lanka <laughs> has been obliterated no one is able to understand it but thankfully Ferb um, speaks Sri Lankan Ferb is actually he speaks Sri Lankan and while he's making out passionately with Vanessa he says don't worry Vanessa I'll come back and he goes and has to save the world he talks to the meep aliens uh, are you gonna like comment on the fact that I'm absolutely speedrunning this game right now? Uh, I literally can't believe how long. Josh and this is going. and this is what they said. <laughs> Which and then Farb says they say the meatballs are terrible and uh, they do not like the taste of them. Hello, humans. We will destroy you. And then they said. Uh, and then Phineas is like, what? What can we offer them that would appease them? Wait, they said the meatballs don't taste good. All we gotta do them is give them 18 billion tr uh, tons of salt to flavor <laughs> it, to flavor the meatballs. And then what happens is they go and beg the, the demon dude from the underworld <laughs> to give them 18... Jesse's just like, when will this story end? <laughs> to give them 18 this. trillion like tons of salt. And he says, all right, fine. I'll, I'll cave and give you 18 trillion tons of salt. <laughs> and he's like, where do you want me to put this? And then they say, hey, where do you live? Uh, and Ferb goes... Nice. And Ferb... Hold on. Hey, man, yeah, I made it. Where do you... <laughs> and Ferb says... Where do you live? <laughs> and then they say, Please don't be far. I've never heard Josh talk this much. <laughs> and this is what and this is what they said. Andromeda Galaxy coordinates 42, 45, 76, 90, 20. And then Ferb says, uh, they're somewhere in the Andromeda Galaxy. I said, Alright, we need you to drop it there at the coordinates he just said. And this guy was like I have no idea where that fucking is. All right, anyways, we're gonna drop it somewhere in the universe. <laughs> the universe? What happens? The 18 trillion uh, tons of salt or whatever um, drop 
No, wait, no, they don't drop yet. Okay, what happens is, okay, we've given you the salt. Now, what we need you to do is, uh, in return, fill Oops, our oceans back up to normal. With right, water? Ever. With water. Uh, and release the meatballs and uh, destroy the meatballs with your giant Omega laser cannon because their ship is planet sized by the way And it, it has a giant cannon that will destroy anything in its path and it has a range of 8 trillion light years Which is really long <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> And so what happens and the meat aliens are like meep, 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 meep. Uh, And they're like, okay, we'll do that so they d go and destroy the meatballs that are curving around from Mars and going to destroy the planet. Um, and they go and shoot the giant laser beam. The giant laser beam obliterates Mars and Pluto. Fuck Pluto. <laughs> and uh, it obliterates Pluto. It's all gone. And then, uh, but all the meatballs in the portal that was on Mars gets destroyed. Oh my goodness. No, um, I didn't even remember there was a portal on Mars. <laughs> That's where the meatballs are being sent from. <laughs> what? Um, and also, the demon guy can't cancel the orders that are coming in. Oh, or whatever. So, <laughs> anyways, he's able to finally, uh, they obliterate Mars, uh, which sort of fucks up the solar system. So, Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter is held in by the sun, but because of the other planets before it, it's basically also held in by them. You know, so Jupiter just gets launched out into space. It it leaves the elliptical and is gone. You don't see <laughs> Jupiter anymore, and so does Venus and Uranus. Is this all takes place in one day? Yeah, this is all in one day. Well, <laughs> well uh, I thought of this course was all the, in one of hour. Of course, the eight months that happened for the wait. Place. How long did like, it take Candace to get back to her house from the mall? <laughs> well, she remember how she helped her mom with the entrepreneur oh, thing for a whole year. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah, you said yeah. it was one day. I thought it was. I thought it was like an hour. And it took eight months for the meatballs. <laughs> to reach 18 light years somehow. Yeah, okay, so... Anyways. But it only took us a month to get there. Anyways, so... No, they took them eight months to get no, there. No, it took 18 light years to get there and eight Shut up! Back. Anyways, what happened was... Uh, <laughs> they they developed better space travel while they were there. Okay, so they obliterated... <laughs> while, while it was taking them, uh, they were able to... Uh, basically, just they shouting. took all the hydrogen and carbon from Jupiter, which was being launched, and they just, like, I stole... thought they never saw it again. Yeah, but it was it was going out of the elliptical, and then they tractor beamed it and <laughs> absorbed oh, all okay. the elements that they needed. They took two hydrogen and one oxygen, and uh, from Jupiter. Whoa! And then they made water with it, and then oh, they were like, "It comes full circle." And then they were like, <laughs> and then they sucked circle. up all the water. Hold on. Oh my God! Did you see that? And then they get one point. 1,386 million cubic Sniped. kilometers of water and oh, oh, oh. send it straight into oh. Earth. And you're like, oh no, the impact will kill everybody. But then Australia, um, the giant titan under Australia, um, what's his name? Atlas. Yeah, Atlas. Atlas picks up Australia and uses it as a shield. And then he blocks the impact of the water going in and then uses Australia. Everyone in Australia dies, by the way. <laughs> Fuck Australia. They, uh, Dude, just why kidding. do you hit on Australia? No, right no, down? Australia's fine. No, what happened in Australia is that they went down under. They went underneath. <laughs> down under. They, he, they already when, got drowned by tomato sauce. No, when Atlas picked up Australia, they went underneath it or whatever. And they're like, their gravity is is backwards or whatever right so yeah. they're basically all underneath it and they're like hanging like upside down but it's not upside down because they're down under anyways so they're all safe and he uses australia as a shield he blocks all the water and if it, it safely pours into the rest of the earth now the earth's oceans are perfectly filled and um nice. and all the world's deserts are gone because the water that it would like sprinkle basically you know it was like permanent rain for about 40 days and uh it's and all so, just one big setup for Noah in the Ark. <laughs> and then uh, the water is finally restored. And now uh, it's about five minutes between Candace and her, when her Candace and her mom get to Phineas <laughs> It took first. you more than and five Phineas. minutes just to explain that one. <laughs> and and I they, don't even know what's happening. And they're finally gonna get back. They're gonna get to the laboratory. And while this final time, she's like. Oh, Candace, I don't think they're gonna be doing anything crazy. I mean, come on, they're just boys. What can they do? And so, uh, Perry the Platters finally makes it to Doofenshmirtz Tower. I found you, 
Mr. Doofen? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I found you, Mr. Doofen Schwartz. Ah, Perry the Platypus. And they have a giant battle where then Perry the Platypus destroys Dr. Doofen Schwartz's gear, which is <laughs> able and releases the. 2,500 2, souls that were in Dr. Doofenshmirtz's things. Wait, so he only had 2,500, but Phineas and Ferb got 3,000 just for they asking? They asked for more. Yeah, yeah, they asked for more. <laughs> Dr. Doofenshmirtz was too nervous I mean, to ask just... for more. <laughs> Anyways, so he goes and uh, he's like, no, my whole gear, I was going to use that so I could uh, fill up my tomato sauce jars. I was out of tomato sauce and I didn't feel like going to the store to get some. So I created this entire adventure <laughs> to get the tomato sauce. Uh, and then <laughs> seems realistic. And then Phineas and Ferb were like, "Back in through so <laughs> And yeah. then Ferb was like, "All like right, all right, Phineas. Uh, I'm moving back to. Uh, I have a British accent, by the way. Uh, all right, sure. Phineas. I'm going back with <laughs> Vanessa to our apartment that because she's she has an apartment apparently, and uh, I'm 12 years old, by the way. Uh, so anyway, she's still 16. No, she's a 24. What? She, she aged this entire time, don't you remember? <laughs> Did I just it's die? been a year. Yeah. All right, Phineas, I'm going back with Vanessa. Uh, all right, all right, Ferb. Uh, I'll see you later. Isabella comes over. Phineas, what you doing? Oh, I'm just working on this uh, jumbotron, which sent the meatballs, but uh, n none of the meatballs have come. You know, I'm just kind of a silly, uh, really sad. But uh, thankfully, these meat aliens, they filled. Uh, so for some reason, the whole world's oceans filled up with tomato sauce. But uh, thankfully, they were all gone somehow. And now the aliens have come and given us uh, all the water back in exchange for 18 trillion tons of salt. Oh, I thought and the just, salt was randomly teleported in the universe. No, it's not yet. It's not. It hasn't been teleported yet. It takes, you had an idea for this it ten minutes ago. It takes two to five business days to get the oh, salt. That makes okay, sense. To get the salt. All right. So now that uh, uh, it'll and then it will be about a six month shipping or right, whatever. So while while this was hap all this was happening, uh, the Meep aliens were able to discover a faster way of light of hyper uh, hyper travel. So now they upgraded their generator, and then they were able to essentially um, <laughs> do job. So the Meep aliens were able to travel it, so they would sh could shave two months off their travel time. So instead of eight months, it would be six months. So then the uh, <clears throat> the Meep aliens say, "Oh yeah." Uh, are they still speaking true? How much more story is left, Josh? It's almost done. <laughs> it's not. They say. <laughs> we're going home. Uh, which Ferb came back and said, uh, they said we're going home. Anyways, so he, <laughs> he goes back with Vanessa, and uh, the Meep aliens go home, and they return to the Andromeda Galaxy, where they're, you know how the planet got blown up by a that thing? Was... Well, they finally get back there, and the, uh, the deposit of salt has finally so a giant portal opens that's about uh uh like five times bigger than earth uh drops and the entire buckets of salt go and drop uh into the into space basically because like the parts of the planet are like floating around now what happens is that the meat aliens are able to convert salt using uh chemical uh chemical transfusion they can change it into whatever chemical uh and or uh, whatever element and chemicals they want so they change it and reform their entire planet and and like from salt and from salt and they make it all back and they're like meep, 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 or something and i don't know what they do and they're like we we created our planet uh, again, or whatever, and they they made back their planet, and their entire planet was saved. And Phineas and Phineas, he's back in the lab with Isabella, and he says, "All right, they Isabella. Well, now that we've perfectly uh, saved the world from the meat aliens destroying them, and the rest of the world is filled back with water instead of tomato sauce, uh, we'll be we'll be perfectly fine." She says, "Oh, Phineas. Uh, okay, so Isabella, I need you to help me." And so uh, he goes and. Uh, what happened was uh, there were some C4 left by the uh, Perry the Platypus when he ingested all that tomato sauce. That some the C4? C4 the C4 that was floating in the ocean of tomato sauce was what? inside the tomato what sauce. Was this a I don't remember C4 in the tomato. Yeah, well, I didn't say it was. It, oh, it was just uh, it came in with all the other objects that were in the ocean. And so uh, <laughs> Perry the Platypus was also spitting out all the used car batteries that are in there right now. Oh, okay. uh, so, anyways. 
the uh, all the uh, C4. He gets a bunch of C4, and he's like, "Where did all the C4 come from?" And then Perry the Plaza is like, "Uh, uh good job, Agent P, or whatever, whatever the fuck the major monogram." Yeah, and then you're like, he's like, uh, "I am Perry a platypus or something," and then you're like. Uh, mission well done. You saved the world from uh, planetary extinction and the invasion of aliens. He also started it because he drank the ocean. And he also started it, but that was that was for cool points. Anyways, uh, <laughs> he finally goes and um, obliterates everything. And then Phineas is like, "All right, it's time to blow this. Let's go, Isabella." And then uh, he and Isabella blow up the put um, the entire facility and put on their sunglasses. And uh, but what happened was that actually the titanic when it time oh warped my. it time warps into the uh danville ocean because danville's by the ocean or whatever it, it teleports oh, straight into the it. ocean they land wreck or whatever and but they're Josh is telling this story through an entire chapter they're still they're still temporarily uh they're still in a temporal anomaly uh doing? with that's linked the titanic so what happens is that um basically they blow up they blow up their facilities but uh but since they land wrecked they're like oh the this ship just land wrecked onto uh the shores of danville so they go and touch it and they uh the entire area of their lab and the titanic get transported to uh on, one second. oh <laughs> i guess i gotta die <laughs> and the twenty sixth of April, nineteen eighty six, <laughs> where the Chernobyl reactor blew up, <laughs> which was actually the result of the uh, C four well, with the used nukes that Russia had uh, sitting in the ocean or whatever. And <laughs> the, the used the, nukes, the, the, the unused nukes. My bad. So, anyways, they, they get <laughs> teleported to the twenty sixth of April. 1980, 1986, and they're like, Jackson what, nuts. what just happened? And then, um, they're like, where are we? And they're in Chernobyl, and the entire facility blows, and it <laughs> blows to Kingdom Come, and the Chernobyl, uh, nuclear power plant disaster. Wait, so <laughs> where's the over. Titanic? The Titanic also got transported with them, but then they were like, oh, we can fix this, and they touch the Titanic again, um, and they get teleported uh, the Titanic gets sent back to the original time where it was gonna run to the iceberg. It runs to the iceberg and everybody dies. Um, Not everybody dies in the Titanic. Except, except whatever her name is, Giselle. <laughs> Rose. Rose. And Rose doesn't die. And then, uh, <laughs> and then Phineas and Isabella are back, at back where they are. And uh, the, their whole plant that like got exploded got teleported back into Chernobyl. So. Uh, that's perfectly fine, and it's basically just like grass where the thing was. Uh, and so they're like, ah, well, it's perfectly safe now. And then fin and Isabella's like, Phineas, I have something to tell you. And he's like, whoa, wait, there's Candace and Mom. And then Candace oh. is like, Mom, look, look what I was saying. She, she, they were gonna obliterate the entire world. And she's like, oh, Candace, <clears throat> you silly girl. <sighs> and then, uh, <laughs> oh, Candace, you silly girl. They have nothing. Oh, hey, Mom. Hey, Phineas. Uh, <laughs> how was your uh, $18 trillion tomato sauce uh, entrepreneurship thing? Oh, well, all the tomato sauce is gone now, so uh, uh, we're bankrupt and I have no money now. But thankfully, your dad is a very important man and he makes a lot of money. Antique. Not true. <clears throat> who's, your da who's my dad, by the way? Uh, Wait, is that Linda or Phineas speaking? Linda. Okay. Or Who's no, Linda's Phineas. dad? No, Phineas. Phineas is like, Who's my dad anyway? And then she's like, Uh, Flynn Doofin. Fletcher. Doofin. No, no, that's oh. the stepdad. Shut up. And she's, and then she's like, Oh, your birth dad? Uh, <laughs> I birthed these nuts. Uh, and then she, and then Phineas is like, What, mom? And then, and then Candace is like, Oh, I can't believe this, <laughs> that this happened. I mean, they were just right here. They had an. <laughs> oh, oh, Candace. Uh, I think they were just playing in the field. Oh, hi, Isabella. What are you doing? Hi, Mrs. Flynn Phineas Fletcher. Fletcher. Fletcher? Flynn Fletcher. Uh, hi, Mrs. Flynn Fletcher. That's a stupid name you got. Oh, you're so sweet, Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Phineas, I have something to tell you. All right, Isabella. I got to go home. I'll see you later. Goodbye. No, Phineas. I, I love you. Shut the... Uh, what? Uh, goodbye, Isabella. And then... Um, oh, my God. 
God. And then uh, Cantus is like, all right, Stacy. Is that her name? Yeah. All right. Oh, she's back? All right, <laughs> Stacy. Let's go to the mall. And then they go on the mall. And uh, they go on the mall? They go to the mall. Or whatever, oh. and they're like, "Hey, we just got some uh, meatball orders, and would you guys like some?" And they're like, "Yeah, I love meatball, tomato sauce, and meatballs." <laughs> or whatever, it's like in a jar, or whatever. And then, um, oh, Doctor so not in the ocean. And then Doctor Doofenshmirtz is also there at the mall. He's like, "Ah, well, my my ability to get the uh, to create the <laughs> infinite." What to- is this story? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost done. I'm wrapping up everything. You yeah, should be he, glad he I'm concluding the entire oh, ending. Shit. Thank you very much. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Jesse's oh, shit. dying. Oh shit. Anyways, uh, Why? Like, ah, Why does he keep knocking me off? I, 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 I wasn't able to create the infinite tomato sauce and meatball. Uh, I thought he did. No, he didn't because oh, okay. it failed, remember? Oh, okay. I Everything. think someone stole his souls. Oh. Right? Yeah, everyone stole his souls so he wasn't able to create it. And the entire, the entire ocean of tomato sauce got obliterated. Uh, it's yeah, all gone, that. okay? It got released into space. Do you not remember that? I remember that part. <laughs> okay, so anyways, as I was saying, um... Uh, it's almost been an hour! <laughs> my infinite plan to make the sauce has failed. So I guess I'll just buy some. And then he, buy, he goes oh. up to the vendor, and then he's like, Ah, hello, girls. <laughs> he's uh, at the vendor now. Yeah, he's and at, he he's at the mall. He's like, Oh, hi, Candace and Stacy. I don't know if I know you, but I do he does now. Not. He doesn't. I don't know you girls, but you seem to love tomato and meatball sauce. I'm losing it. <laughs> to love tomato and meatball I'm sauce. I have Stockholm Syndrome. I'm just laughing you know, at everything. I love, to- I love meatballs and tomato sauce. You know, I tried to create a world supply of them, but it didn't work out very well. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, now it's time for me to enjoy. I I was to fly, now it? it's time for me to enjoy my meat, uh, tomato sauce and meatballs. <laughs> he eats everything, and then Atlas, Atlas, who was holding up Australia and all the Australians, he's like, "All right, guys, you gotta go back uh, up above Australia so I can put you down." And they're like, oh, "Okay." Put him down. Yeah, and so uh, he's like, "They're like." All right, mate. But we're gonna go up back to uh, the land down under, but <coughs> we're not down under anymore. We're gonna be upright, and so um, and so basically, uh, all the Australians go back up, and the gravity isn't reversed for them anymore. Um, basically, the polarity got switched for just Australia because of it being lifted up by Atlas. So every time Atlas like gets up, the polarity of the and magnetism of the Earth like flip. Anyways, so. Uh, Atlas finally gets them, he puts them down, or whatever, and then he, uh, and then the Greek gods on Mount Olympus were like, uh, yo, Upa Gungam style. And then, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then they're like, Atlas, uh, you're free, you don't have to hold up the, uh, Earth anymore, just kidding, he's not holding up the Earth. You don't have to hold up Australia anymore. <laughs> and then they're like, uh, he's like, okay. And then he, <laughs> okay. and then he, like, stands on Earth and jumps out into space and he just like floats in space we don't know where he's going yet but we will soon <laughs> anyways um so, anyways, oh, no. so um oh! And, <laughs> oh, you can go and uh Ferb and Vanessa they they were like shipping name Verb yo <laughs> uh, Verb and Vanessa they're like <clears throat> uh yeah balls um and then oh, Josh is losing steam. That's what happened at the end of the episode. And they all go back and live happily ever after. That was good. Josh. Oh my god. Can you give me a ga- purple <laughs> Gatorade? I'm in really shock at how that was literally that was an hour long. I created that all up on the spot, by the way. Nice. I could tell. <laughs> how did you keep going? Because it's really the easy hell? to create the narrative. What the? Where'd this leg come from? Like, once you get a narrative going, you can't stop. Dude, Josh, you literally went on for an hour. An entire hour. Half of this comp is just going to be you explaining <laughs> a random... Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, <laughs> an hour! <laughs> an hour! And you wrapped up. It, you tied it up so well, too. <laughs> yeah, you kept coming back to plot points we thought were 
were forgotten, and then you wrapped it all up in a nice bow. Yeah, you, you really did. And you made it to be continued. The only thing you, you checked all up, the boxes. The only thing you messed up was Phineas and Ferb. I mean, Ferb and Vanessa's ending. They just said balls. <laughs> He just messed it up at the 99.99% no, mark. It wasn't safe for kids for what they were doing. Oh my goodness, Josh. That's a, are you implying that they were having sexual intercourse? No, what what they are doing was that... Uh, no, Ferb, I, no, this Ferb is sequel. Was, this is sequel. Ferb was doing something that kids are not allowed to do, which is... Um, Go above the disobey the parents. Is go on the <laughs> is on the roller coaster ride where you're like too young to be on it. And so Vanessa was like, I got these fake IDs so we can ride this roller coaster. And they ride the roller coaster and they like, just show an ID to go. And then Ferb is like, Where's my good mushroom? Josh, go get your Gator and come back. Give my give me a perfect Gatorade real quick. Yeah, I'm very glad that is immortalized in the cop. What happened? What just happened? I didn't think Josh had that in him. I didn't know. I, I mean, to be honest, I should have stopped playing to listen, but... An hour. Yeah. Jesse, I don't know if you realize... An hour has passed since he yes, started Yes, I know. Story. I've been playing this entire time. I went through like three different chapters. He literally started before the... What was it? Admissions chapter or yeah. whatever? Yeah. And then he finished after the chapter yeah. ended. <laughs> An hour! Josh, usually when you say a story with Josh, it's one word. <laughs> Where did that come from? It came from the land down under. Dude. Dude. What, do you want me to come up with an amazing hour-long story? <laughs> I can't believe you just... Ah! <laughs> that was longer than some movies. <laughs> it was not an hour. A movie <laughs> and is that like... was Josh's explanation of a <laughs> typical Phineas and Ferb episode. <laughs> a typical episode. His, He's his, not far his off, though. explanation was longer than five Phineas and Ferb episodes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, we're just discussing. Did you bring me a game? Josh, where did that come Fuck! from? My brain. <laughs> I've never heard you talk that I've been, long I've been short. so thirsty this whole the time. The longest I've ever heard water, you speak. Dude, no, no, no. I, I, I specifically I did not, asked for the Gatorade. Oh, okay. I did not want to say how much longer is the story, because I wanted to see how long you were going for. <laughs> but when we reached the hour mark, I had to say it. So at the beginning... Ah! And there's going to be a sequel, apparently. With Atlas. Okay, so... No, no, no sequel now. <laughs> no sequel now. Next episode. Half-Life Alex or Half-Life Half 2. Half-Life 2. There will be a sequel. Not now. I don't think I, could, I don't think my little heart could handle it. Dude, my brain hurts. Okay, but I explained everything perfectly well. Yeah, I can't believe you tied it back. You yeah. said that Titanic didn't change history at all, and then it changed, and then you came back with it, with Chernobyl. Like... It didn't change history. It didn't. Chernobyl still blew up. Guys, I gotta yeah. be honest, I think we peaked. <laughs> Josh Peak, definitely. Where do I go? Wow, man. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, too. I was like, oh, my that God. That reflection is... Boy, Josh's story really took a lot out of you, didn't it, Jesse? It really did, honestly. <laughs> I, I was just... Josh, I was, took, I was honestly, really hyper-focused on this it while took, he was talking. I was just going to let it roll. It took effort just to listen to it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Here's my average piece of verb episode. Please. Please, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom, God. I did not. No, say he didn't. That. Ages up, Vanessa. Oh yeah, for the stripper <laughs> ball. <laughs> I will have to cut. It's because they. It was the time travel, the temporal anomaly. Only that was the Vanessa time age. The temporal <laughs> anomaly. I thought Atlas changed her age. No, the Titanic. <laughs> what? The temporal anomaly was the Titanic. What the fuck? And it changed. How did you fall down a ladder? I don't know. How did you fall down a ladder? <laughs> Yeah, the, throughout the entire story of Vanessa was 16, then 18, then 24. <laughs> Everyone 24? She, aged, she got older, bro. Yeah, but I, Ferb was still 12, you said. Yeah, he was still 12. Do you think Face and Ferb age? No. Why How do you think they stay? The finale they age. It's like Ash Ketchum. Oh He's my like God. 38. <laughs> Josh's story takes place between the second to last episode of the finale. That's fantastic. Because There's no other. Because they age. Excuse me. They shoot the lizard. It's got tomatoes on it, by the way. <gasps> tomato tomato. Sauce. You know, that's how I, I got the tomatoes. It was not... Yeah, where'd you get the tomato idea from? From no, I me looking you know. at that monster what and the seeing... Fuck? Hey, it's got tomatoes on it. No, on I it. like how it's wearing, like, tomatoes. Walks Good through dude, red yeah. hole. And dies. Nope. Saved.
It's just gonna, it's just gonna auto save you to death every single time. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh yeah, I ate the pickle. Oh. <laughs> oh, it did. It actually did. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you. I told you, I told you this game is bad. <laughs> Alright, how I load? We're in three minutes. Five foot one. Josh! <laughs> I meant to flick to the right of him and not Well, there was the another other. guy to the right Correct. of him. Hey, where's, where do you guys store your important research? <laughs> ah, you've been wounded. Oh, wait, he's healing you. Ah! Dude! <laughs> I, I was to the left of him. His hitbox is too he's big. so... <laughs> right quick. So back when Vine existed, me and Luke would make vines because we were just silly kids. Mm -hmm. I remember the little grenade thing. One we made, it was actually really funny. So the skit was, I was just going to say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And then Luke was going to open the door and I was just going to throw an apple at him. And he was just going to like go, ah, and then fall over. <laughs> but the way I threw it, I hit him in his hip bone. And just completely knocked him over and just like <laughs> nice. caused him like complete excruciating pain. You got him. But you're gonna black out your now pain. Now one day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> 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 and now one day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Uh, I like how he's wearing a pumpkin hat. <laughs> he's wearing an annoying orange mask. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> because well, my my mom didn't want us to show our face on the internet. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh. oh! They know my voice. They know me. <laughs> oh, oh my, my goodness! God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez, I actually just destroyed Bro, his that his arm guy. was fucking a rocket propelled. <laughs> there are many here among us. <laughs> I held it for I too long. Held it, too it was literally long. right when I was about to throw it. Shut up. Oh shoot. Dave Chappelle's no. basic. Go back down, go back down, go! <laughs> 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 Sucks. Dude, the screen shake is just insane. Shut up. Me and Jesse <laughs> played this game. Oh, I just launched like 90 mortars, okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I crashed the game! <laughs> <laughs> you just lost that no. save. I just kept pressing the button and I was like, oh, they are launching. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, How did they even launch the that many mortars at once? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shit. It's wow. cool, it'll still kill. Oh. oh shit. <gasps> That's definitely not gonna like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is Damn. this gonna let him shoot it through or not? And the word fam replaced the- <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> <Whoa! laughs> What did I expect to happen? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Here, I can tell you everyone that we interact with in a day. Tony M. F. Johnson, Robert, Simeon, David, Barely. Um, Why did you say Tony's full name? Because well, it's Tony motherfucking Johnson. <laughs> Tony <laughs> Johnson is like the most generic Dude, name I've ever heard. I know, but he didn't say anybody else. <laughs> just Tony. <laughs> yeah, because his name is Tony motherfucking Johnson. <laughs> anyway, Tony, um, Jeremiah, Josh, Simeon, Robert, Barry... Jamel. I've um, never heard of Jamel. Is he not doing anything interesting? I barely. I say like two things to him. I go, hey, oh, what up, Jamel? And then sometimes he tells me to move stuff He's forward. He, and he also looks exactly like Tony, Tony from, from the, the back. back. But fatter. <laughs> Even Jeremiah. <agrees. laughs> yeah. Literally, he's bald. He has a, he he has has a the big same beard, beard and they're the same, same size. Yeah. Same, and they same wear the same clothes size. because they both are wearing the yeah, uniform. Yeah, they both wear the uniform. Tony and Jamel. Jamel's yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. Tony Tony's Mother a little Johnson. And yeah, Tony motherfucking Johnson. Jamel's and Tony's just fatter, a little bit shorter. But you can't even tell. Yeah. And Tony's shorter than Jamel. Funny. And Nico and Tanner say one yeah, thing. Yeah, I never talk to Nico or Tanner. I'm always like, hey, what's up? Who's and then Nico? They, he's a new guy. New guy. And then, Mexican. Um, 
Yeah, and then he he replaced Bruno because Bruno died. Yeah, him. Bruno got in a car wreck. What? And yeah. died without a seatbelt. I told you that. Because he killed those three so other people. So one of your co yeah, died yeah, in the car Yeah, he was booze cruising. Yeah, he was boozing and cruising. And some people, people can't drive drunk, you know. <laughs> some people, some people, yeah. most people, I mean, you know, some people can, some people can't. Yeah, oh, shit. It was pretty sucky because he, he was, what, no, none of them were wearing a seatbelt, so they all died and he was unrecognizable because oh, he got launched from his car. And then yeah, they yeah, like, Did you identify the body? They identified yeah. the yes, body by I, his I license. The ID, yeah, yeah. And his I, I know you and Bruno were close friends. I'm sorry for your loss. I talked to Bruno twice. <laughs> but I, I, was was still, I was still upset. Dead man walking. Hey, quit making fun of the dead, all right? Even if, they did, even if they were boozing and cruising and whatever. Oh, they, he also killed Sue's nephew. Yeah. What? Yes. They were driving with each other? No, no. they. Were, Sue's nephew was in the car that he hit while Boo's. Oh was my! Him. What? Yeah. Happened yeah. to be Sue's cousin and the. That and, and is just by chance. Sue's cousin and his girlfriend, and then their dad, I think. I thought it was Sue's. Nephew. Yeah, they're dead. They all died. Everybody yeah, died. Everybody died. Wait, Sue's dad? No, no. not Sue's dad. What oh. are you talking? Like, about? You said it dead. Was the, it was the girlfriend's oh, dead. dad. Oh, the girl. Wow. They all died. Yeah, Dude, Bruno died. messed up. Because of Bruno. Oh, your Why dad bought... I thought your dad founded that company. No, he oh, bought he it like a couple it? years ago. Yeah. Oh. He bought, it, he bought it like eight years ago. Oh, I thought he, he made it. Okay, no, no, no. Well, your dad's a millionaire just from that job. He was a millionaire before. Oh, yeah, what'd your dad do? Oh, yeah, that's right. Does he make more money this way or less? Like, why are you asking so many questions about Jesse's life? It's interesting. No, it's not. Well, his dad's life is interesting. My dad would be a would be a multimillionaire if if he didn't Epic have games. eight goddamn kids. <laughs> no, if he became the CFO of fucking of oh, Epic Games. Too, yeah. Did he really get offered a job yes. at Epic Games? <laughs> he interviewed for it. <laughs> but oh, he didn't, didn't take he, it. He turned it down because they made shooting they make, games, right? They make violent games or whatever. Fuck. <laughs> That's the only reason. God. <laughs> But then I would we would have never met. His friend who worked, who, she was the head of HR lady, right? She's the one who recommended him. She made a million dollars off of the severance package. <laughs> Just the severance she got, package? Yes. She could retire with that severance package. She was package. the head HR lady of Epic Games. <laughs> Not even the CFO? No! Jeez. Your dad messed Dude, out. if I was my mom, I would be so pissed at him. <laughs> Even though you guys are still comfortably wealthy. <laughs> Very comfortably wealthy. What are you talking about? You, have we, you seen my car? We barely crack a million. Well, that's because you moved out. Did you see the car you had when you lived with him? You had a Mustang, dude. <laughs> <Yeah, I see>. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen my car? Have you seen the car when you lived with your dad? Yeah. Uh, okay. But, uh, you know, I might just get an ASL major. And then become a... What the hell? <laughs> what? That's so really cheap! Good. That reminds me of, uh... One time I was in Spanish class, and uh, the science class or whatever, like they had, like they're in like the ta same time slot, and so uh, they were having like a fun day where they like had like these headsets that would like read your brain waves, and they had like a little program. <laughs> oh, yeah. They had like a little program on your, uh, uh, like that they like attached to your head. Mm -hmm. They had attached like three points on your head, and it had like, it would go from like scales of like zero to a hundred to have like engagement or whatever to have like excited like happy or like stuff like that which is like essentially read your brain waves yeah so uh our science teacher was like okay so uh, who wants to do it and i was like you know sure i'll do it it was like me and one other kid uh -huh. and so they hook up the uh like the electrodes, the electrodes thing sit on my brain i was like well, this is kind of weird so i just uh, so like okay let me continue on with class so we just continue and uh they're i'm just like sitting in class and then i hear them like whispering behind me they're like look like engagement is like it like 15 bro like what is happening <laughs> and then they're like for you they're, yeah for me <laughs> right? this was for me and they're like uh like focus it was like focus was literally like four and then, uh, <laughs> and then josh um, is brain dead <laughs> <laughs> like focus like four or whatever and like like it was like some other stuff and then uh my teacher's like showing a video and they're like oh well uh i mean the focus went up like a little bit or whatever and then uh <laughs> it's so funny this like really hot ass girl came on screen <laughs> and then the engagement <laughs> went to 92 <laughs> and then just shot up like whoa oh my goodness and the focus just went up to like 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 83 <laughs> and it was just like this like spanish like video of her of them, like talking but the girl was like hot as fuck and so like hey uh look who josh is <laughs> 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 it was really funny
Danger broken. <laughs> okay, that's what I was supposed to do. I literally just parkoured up there. <laughs> you stalked some. You're broke, guys. I'm up. Did you see that guy that stalks those? Okay, apparently I shouldn't have jumped down here. Ah! Ah! Damn, Blake. Damn. Looks like you died. Damn, Blake. Looks Damn. like you died. Did you see that guy who, um... Starts mic. <laughs> <laughs> starts try humping. <laughs> What does the butt sound like? <laughs> nice. Shit. Nice. <laughs> I didn't realize those oh, blow those up. blow up and kill you, by the way. Crowball. <laughs> nice. Oh, damn. <laughs> didn't we not just establish that those were Well, I don't know. Nice I thought maybe if you hit him with a crowbar, it wouldn't explode as big. <laughs> Bro, you better fight that thing. Stop being 69, 69. Oh my goodness. I guess I'm up he here. He glitched. Now. What weapons do I have? Throw a grenade oh. down at him. <laughs> Wait, it might be going too low. Okay, well, you. It's not gonna work, Jesse. Alright, now that I've killed him, officially. Are you oh serious? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ah! Uh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> crap, what am I oh supposed to do? He well. kills me immediately. Oh <laughs> it's immediate. God. I can't run away. Just run you away, Jesse. Jump, Jesse. I was double jumping. <laughs> it wasn't launching. Did you see me. how he hit him like eight yeah. times in one second? <clears throat> Dude, what was I supposed to do? It launched me up in the air. Maybe kill him. Dude, I don't know anything. <laughs> Remember when I was telling the NASCAR story? <laughs> I was like, I got lost when I was eight, but I had a phone. <laughs> and that was, he was telling us a story about how he was at a NASCAR race. And at the, and, and he, so at the beginning of the story, he was like, I was probably like five or six maybe. And he's like, how he got lost from his dad and he was all helpless because he didn't know what to do. And he would like go up to a stranger and he would be like, hey, can you help me find my dad? And they were like, well, what's he look like? And he was like, I don't know. And so he couldn't get anyone to help him. <laughs> and then he told us the story ended. He was like, so I just pulled out my phone and then called him. And then everyone called him. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you said you were five or six. He was like, no, I was like 14. <laughs> <laughs> What does he look like? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and the whole story is about him being helpless. A helpless kid not being able to find his dad. <laughs> Explosion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then being able to like, do traffic and oh stuff. My and goodness. then he'll tear down. Shoot the, did you not see the thing? The controller's right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I don't want you. Josh, what the hell, man? <laughs> it was a real fart, too. <laughs> it was <laughs> long. <laughs> Josh stood up and, like, presented it. <laughs> he was, like, not performing. Josh oh, is fart. I have a headache. Blake, take over. I'm gonna Josh, go to bed. Josh just farted there. Oh, wait for me. Hey, can I point this gun directly at your face? And pull the trigger after loading one round in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh. I gotta show you this video. So, you know John Green? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. He got, somehow he got a chance to right talk with like. Right the stars? Yeah. Somehow he got the chance to talk with like Obama. Yeah. <laughs> during like this presidential thing. And at, and at, at some point his wife, his wife was like pregnant. John and, and Obama was just like, can I, can I see the bump? And she was like, <laughs> she's like, sure, Obama. And he was like, all right, nice, all right. <laughs> let me let me. He wants to see the well, bump on her. My wife Sarah is actually here, um, and I are expecting our second child. We have. Uh, hey, sir. Hello. Do you already have a bump? Yes, I do. Okay, stand up. Let's see it a little bit. <laughs> nice. He has a pregnant right. lady. <laughs> listen, to, listen to his <laughs> nice. All right. Let's see it a little bit. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> nice. Do they literally All cut right. to another person? Yeah, while right when it happens. Let's see it a little bit. You don't even get to see it. It's like... Nice. All right. Yeah. Dude, I wanted to see your Go. fucking bum. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Oh, and I get to destroy more of those too. Oh, I destroyed one. I got two more left. Awesome. Uh, ah, why is this game so long? 
Dude, I'm telling you. Why do they make this game so long? It's so unnecessarily long. Because so a month. You haven't. Among it's us. such bullcrap. Like, have you ever played this game before? It's not even fun stuff. Yeah, yeah it took me 20 also. hours to beat it. Dude. Try throwing a grenade or something. Kill How is this game critically acclaimed? How? Huh? Move! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you throw a grenade and kill all the Why don't you throw a grenade and me? me oh, 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 I'm just <laughs> I don't have a grenade. Oh, wait, maybe I Because you used them all. Yeah, you remember when you used <laughs> nine to try and kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. How? Why? Why do they good, allow good this? Good plan, Blake. You're right. <laughs> well, Blake, I it must have. It must have caught up that box. Oh. Must have caught up. <laughs> How does that even? Because you weigh more than the box. <laughs> oh dear God! You just sit on, slower. like, stay on a box. Yeah. Oh yeah, just stay on a box. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just stay on a box. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to prank you, Blake. Why does he have a Trump thousands? Guy? I thought there were like a few. Republican Trump guy. Awesome. What the? <laughs> that was not me. To right the right. To the left. To the left. To ah! the right. Why did he do it that time? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. That was a one time. God break. literally picked me you up. Wait. Like literally wait. Now homing Humvees. Homie. Homie. <laughs> that was pretty good at March, actually. Homie. <laughs> Bart. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm a sex icon. For some reason. Oh my goodness. They Blake. put me on the vapes and I love it. Yeah, they hit the Pentagon. You got you got a bomb <laughs> the crystals. Dad the gum, they hit the Pentagon. Jesus. <laughs> Calabunga, they hit the Pentagon. Homie. Homie. Yes, they Marge. Hit the <laughs> What's the Pentagon, Marge? <laughs> Homie, do you not know what the Pentagon is? Jesus Christ! <laughs> they hit the Pentagon! 1,500 dead! 3,000 injured! Good. Mmm. Roasted <laughs> donuts. There he is. Roasted donuts. Yeah, kill him! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's happening! Uh, homie! Yes. We stopped at the same time. Yes. Yeah. We didn't even. I was harmonizing. Mm, Hit him with the it sprinkled down yet. RPG, RPG shot. Radiation. Don't kill me. I'm quick saving. <laughs> health, 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 health. Ah! <laughs> Holy crap! That was, <laughs> dude. That was barreling to you. Why doesn't this guy fucking die? Just. Kill him. Blake's about to die. Blake is literally about to die. <laughs> yeah, 360 no scope! Quick, quick save, Blake, you have 9 health. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, why is your Marge Simpson so good? <laughs> Why is it so good? Have you been practicing? <laughs> I, I just started to I do like a subpar homer. <laughs> Should have bought that Marge. <laughs> say, true. say the that Pledge Marge of Allegiance. Simpson. Say the Pledge of Allegiance as Marge. I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag of the United <laughs> of the United States of America. Wait, what just blew up? And to the republic for which we stand. <laughs> it stands. One, <laughs> is it stands? Yeah. One wait, 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 wait. Whoa, <laughs> Gordon Freeman in the flesh. What the or rather, in the hazards. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most and my feet. <laughs> government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control. I have recommended your services to my employers and they have authorized me to offer you a job they agree with me that you have limitless potential
If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. No, it's not. This is the end of Half Life 1. <laughs> this is the start of Half Life 2. Obviously, I'm going to walk in the portal. This is the, oh, intro. This is the intro to Half Life 2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because he's starting a train. Finally, now the actual game starts. <laughs> this is just a pre-game. Yeah. Yeah. We're this gonna, was the intro to like Skyrim. We pre-gamed a funeral. But anyways. Status hired. Awaiting. We pre-gamed a funeral. No, don't kill the scientist. Aww. He's with the science team. <laughs> oh, Josh helped him. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, my. Dude, you just blasted his direction. Oh, <laughs> Josh, no! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they were face monsters. The scientist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought. This no, is me to you, Jesse. Yeah, no! <laughs> Almost like my. Josh did. <laughs> no! I only need one. No! No! Josh! <laughs> Dude! Thank oh god. Uh, I didn't get a collab, that's so lame. On the World Wide Web? You know, that's what WWW stands for. Oh, oh really? World Wide Web. I thought it stood for, the butler did it. The butler did it. Please never say that again, Blake. Please. Can you breed me now? I could. <laughs> you can't keep that in, Blake. No, I really can't keep that in. <laughs>